Uh, we are back with another edition of This Is Today. This is where we dig into some of the, the trending and buzzworthy stories on today.com. And to do that, we bring in today digital editorial director, Ariana Davis is here. And if you want to learn more about these stories, read these stories, all you have to do is just, you scan that QR code, it's on your screen, it's right beneath Chanel there. Right there. There's the QR code, <laughs> scan that. So Thanksgiving, of course, now just a few days away. A lot of folks who travel especially, they're like, well, can I take this on yep. the plane? I've made my, my mom's mac and cheese, can mm -hmm. I carry it with me, or cranberry sauce? <laughs> so what are the rules, Ariana? Yes, yeah, so the full list, because there's a, it's, an, it's an intense list, is on today.com, but the summary is basically solid food to things like baked goods, meats, mac and cheese, that is okay to bring through TSA in your mm -hmm. carry-on. But the things you need to check are anything that's more liquid-based, so think cranberry sauce, gravy, champagne. Okay. Um, those are the things that you want to actually check in your in your luggage. I can see how somebody comes with stuffing and they think it's okay. And can you imagine if the TSA oh, guy yeah. tells you you have to get rid of your <laughs> yes. big oh. thing of stuffing? Yes, but there's yeah. a, and there's a hack if you did want to okay, bring... Though. Stuffing, Stuffing is good because okay. it's a solid, but if you did want to bring like cranberry sauce or right. gravy, if you freeze it and then you, you can actually, oh. so that constitutes it as a solid. So if you want to freeze that gravy or that cranberry sauce yeah. and bring right. it on the so plate. anything viscous. Right. Yes, right. just like leave it. exactly. So I thought this was interesting. Thanksgiving, obviously a time to reflect, but you guys have a story of a guy who shares um, it's his, a man's lesson uh, from walking around the world. Yes, so Thomas Tershik, he spent seven years walking around the world, not just by himself, but with his dog, Savannah. They walked uh, on six continents, a total of 28,000 miles. Wow. It took him seven years. The only reason he didn't make it to all seven continents was because Australia did close down right before the COVID. Oh, hit, because, because of COVID. Of COVID. Um, so he ended up stranded for six months, I think, in uh, Azerbaijan. But he walked everywhere from Peru, Peru to Iceland to Turkey. I mean, he went all around the world with his My dog, goodness. Savannah. Well, so yeah. does he have, like, takeaways? And like, I'm yeah. sure it's forever changed. I mean, he was inspired to take this trip after his childhood friend died, and he just wanted to see the world and yeah. just was like, life isn't promised. And he says the biggest lesson that he learned was just that we're very small compared to the world around us. And mm -hmm. also, he has a, a new appreciation for nature. So wow, I love I'm that. Sure yeah. Being outside that yeah. long. Yeah. Uh, this next article I can relate to because play dates nowadays are absolutely insane. So there, there's this new modern play date that's kind of driving moms. Yeah. That's crazy. Our, our parenting reporter, Rachel Paula Abramson, she wrote a hilarious story about how her kid came home from a play date with like a DIY snow globe, heavy yeah. socks, <laughs> homemade chocolate chip cookies. Right. And yeah. she yeah. felt like this other mom was kind of making her look bad. So <laughs> she interviewed uh, Dr. Um, Gilboa, who is a development expert, and she says that, like, play dates should make your life easier. It yes. should not be, like, Bring a this over, competition. Like a -in yeah, so Rachel said her mom got it right in the 80s when she just kind of put it's it down true. with the juice box. I made a mistake and... just last week. So I thought, okay, I've got all these kids. I have four or five kids. I'm like, let me take them to, like, a craft studio in New York City. Right. And they can, like, make things, and they got to paint things. And then when it was over and it was time for their parents to pick them up, they're like, but we didn't get to just go to your house and play. Oh. All they wanted to do you. was just play. Like, you yeah. don't have to spend extra Do you, money. Like, when you're younger than us, but when we were kids, the <laughs> play date was outside. open the door, yeah, it yes. was just and you, you just ran out, no. and, and you would come home like, for food. Have a snack? You'd yeah. go to your friend's house for the snack drawer because it was always better than yeah. yours. And the development expert says that that's actually a good thing because kids should be bored. They should learn how to turn boredom into creativity and learn how to entertain mm -hmm. them. Good. Speaking right. of yeah. bored kids, yeah. though, you know what bothers me what sometimes? What bothers you, Craig Melvin? <laughs> because like, <laughs> your kids will say, oh, I'm bored. I'm like, you've got oh, an Xbox. Absolutely. You've got a switch. You're not alone. You've got 200 I, I, channels. You're not alone. To get on board, I don't have yeah. anything to do. I know. Legos, you've got Great. to me in the car. They're like, I'm bored. I'm like, look out the window. <laughs> <laughs> Play a game. Out the trees. <laughs> All right, we're done with our therapy session. We apologize, <laughs> Adrian. You didn't sign up for that. I, I mean, listen, you guys are preparing me when the Ariana, time. thank you so much. Thank you, Ariana. For more, go to today.com. Uh, you can also sign up for our, our new This Is Today newsletter. It's brand new. This is today's newsletter. You scan the code on your screen there. You'll get the latest news, pop culture, and more emailed to you every morning.